Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to do color work using a technique called stranding. Stranding allows you to use two colors of yarn without cutting them each time you want to change colors. You'll simply carry the unused yarn along the back of your work. This is a really handy technique when you're doing color changes that are a short distance apart. So I've been crocheting and making Nell the tiny owl. I've been crocheting according to the instructions. I have most of him finished and I'm right at the point where I need to change colors. So I'm going to do a regular color change. I have my second color right here and it's white and I'm going to um, change colors. You'll want to watch a different video if you want to see how to change colors cleanly. So here we go. Now if you look at the back of my work, you'll notice I have the tail of the white. I want to leave him alone. He's not involved anymore. And I have two colors, the blue and the white yarn. Now I want to work with the white yarn. So I'm going to leave this blue yarn just hanging. I'm not going to worry about it at all. And my pattern tells me I need to crochet 10 stitches. So I'm going to do that with my white yarn right now. And to be honest with you, 10 stitches is sort of a bit much to do the stranding technique. Um, usually it's for shorter um, lengths of color change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we're going to make it work. <laughs> so the only problem you'll run into with stranding over too long of a distance is that you'll get a bit of tugging. Um, but that's it's going to be okay. So here we go. Um, I'm ready to use my blue again, but my blue is all the way over here. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it across, see, and then begin to use it again. So you can see how I'm laying it. I'm holding it neatly along the back of the work. I'm not pulling it because see if I pull it like this, my work is going to bunch up and that's not what I want. I want it to lay really neatly right there. And then I'm going to start working it, not pulling, not tugging, just working nicely. And I'll pull on this white one just to make sure. And I'm going to leave the white one hanging, okay? And crochet with my blue. Now I'm going to, that's, that's stranding, that's all there is. It's sort of like what you would come up with if you were left to your own devices. You probably don't think it's too fancy. I'm going to go back around just to show you how it works a second time. Um, because sometimes it's a little confusing when you're pulling the yarn from the other direction. And the other trick, I guess, besides what I just showed you, is that when I'm stranding, I like to work. This is sort of holding my piece inside out, right? This is my right side, and it's concave <laughs> instead of being convex. And that is just a trick to ensure that you're not pulling the strands too tightly. Because if the strand has to be kept along the outside, it's sort of impossible for it to get too tight. So that's a good trick. Um, and it's actually how um, the native Peruvians do all of their fantastic color work is by working inside out. Good tip. <laughs> so, okay, so now I'm at, I want to start using my white again, but my white is all the way over here. Now, you might think you want to carry it along this way, but that's using too much yarn. You want to carry it the shortest distance, and that's right, it's sort of like backwards, right? Because you carried the blue going that way, but now you want to pull the white going this way. See? And now I have one blue cross and one white cross back there, and I'll keep crocheting and going. And that's all there is to it. Nothing more complicated than that. So that's a simple way to use two colors at once.